Hey folks, it's IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is a Ralphie in the T-34 85M. I don't know what I was about to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> anyways, this is... I think I was about to call it a Chromo. Um, anyways, this is a Tier 6 game on Lakeville. It's a scrimmage. And um, if you're looking for an OP scrimmage tank, this is still reigning supreme it's been reigning supreme for probably a couple years now uh, which is weird in the overall scheme of world tanks but um it it seems to be the way it's going and this is a great all-rounder um it can dish out real damage especially if the enemy just sits there unless you reload a couple times it can take a couple shots it's got some decent armor if you're angling as we are and uh, it's got okay speed, so you can actually get to different places in the field if you need to. So think of a Cromwell, except a little slower with decent armor and a decent gun. And uh, you get the T-34A5M. This is also a premium tank, so you're making extra money. And uh, that's, you know, because you'll be grinding up the crew in normal games, obviously. Okay, so first things happens is our um, our 12T over there gets himself almost murdered. I don't think we got too much back for that, so that's a little unfortunate. We don't know what the call is, but obviously the call is that we're pushing into the city. Uh, we got some Cromwells hanging back, I assume, to cut off the road. 12T was supposed to escape the road, mostly just got dead. And now he's falling back to scale with the swamp I would assume um, in the meantime we're just gonna sit here and not have any action at all <laughs> which makes it a little boring we're gonna speed this up a little bit until we get into some combat in one form or another 12t comes and joins us and then we knock down a tree seemingly on purpose um, I guess to reposition better, but you shouldn't knock down trees if you don't have to. Okay, so we're going for a rush down the swamp area. We've got teammates redistributed to make sure that the push through the city is going to be extremely hard for them. And we're going to bunch up right here before we go over. Hopefully the 12T will be protected by the first Cromwell. And the, the enemy doesn't sit here and hold their fire until they see the 12T. No, Type 64 seems to be the only thing over here, so they're probably set up in a defensive perimeter along here and not pushing at all, which is okay. And depending on the printer they're holding, they're in okay positions more than likely. Um, the fact that they're not holding this at all is troublesome for the enemy. Uh, it's going to give us a great flanking position. Uh, that puddle is... Um, in a little bit of trouble from the artillery barrage that's supposed to be coming down. Actually, the artillery barrage apparently got absorbed by the house. So I guess he's in a great position. Um, but the fact is that we let, they let us flank them. Um, and our guys watching the town are just sitting there waiting for the counterattack to come. Oops. One of our Cromwells. Uh got himself blown up by sitting in the same spot too long and um, the artillery barrage dropped right in not able to hit anybody there's a little bit for cover and uh, it's just not going to be enough cover for this giant monster of a tank to get a decent shot in while you know seeing, sitting behind the cover still the bush Moving a little bit forward, looking for the shot on the puddle. Fires through the car. Nope, nope, did not hit. Come on, puddle, move forward. Oh, from way this is this distance, but not far or not close enough to. Oh, that's close enough though. We can definitely get hit by that, and the chrome bounces off. See what I mean about this armor? They're shooting and they're hitting the. Uh, the gun mantle type area on the, this turret and it just bounces shots like mad. 
But when shooting into the side of the tank, you're always, well, I mean, assuming you're shooting flat on the side, you have a decent chance of going through. Especially when they just give us the side so easily. Cromwell is going to take a shot right here. They're going to start surrounding us. It's going to be an issue unless we can take one of them down really quickly. Like the Cromwell who decided to attack from the front without any actual support. His ally didn't time the attack well enough from the other side. And so we can just go ahead and rush him. Our Cromwell circling around behind. I think we're going to end up finishing this guy off. Hopefully before the Cromwell dies. Nope, unfortunately. I mean, yes, we finished him off before the Cromwell died. However, the puddle then finishes off. Cromwell. And now the, the puddle being out in the open is unfortunate for the poor guy. Ooh, it's gonna mean he manages to dodge one shell though. Somehow. Unfortunately. And now, oh no! Our city defense force got wiped out. And they must have charged for us into the teeth of 234A5s. And we didn't, I didn't even see it. So that means that we are the last man standing on our team. Three enemies closing in, uh, though two are far enough away to make this a 1v1 right now. He's got, he got his repair kit back. He switched to gold ammo, which, I mean, honestly, if this is a skirmish game, if, then I'm surprised he wasn't firing gold the entire time. We're going to go ahead and speed this gameplay up a little bit, because otherwise it could be a while before we find anybody. As he walks back through the swamp. Now... Oh, yes. In fact, that's exactly what happened. They have, we're trying to flank him. Or at least one of them is. That's, the other possibly is coming around the other side. So you might get tag teamed. The only thing about this is the, they didn't manage to attack at the same time. Obviously, they were sneaking one guy up the back. While the other was going to sit around here and distract him. Um, and the fact is we've jumped on the guy who was supposed to become the slower route. And so the other guy is way out of position. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and be able to get back into position before the other guy appears. There we go. The other guy has appeared. He scrambled to get over here. Unfortunately, he's too late to get here in time to save his buddy as we go ahead and repair that ammo rack and put a shot in. Good job. Now we're one shot away from killing him, two away from killing us. But really that's all it takes is a one for one trade at the end of the game. When you got more health than the enemy, it uh, generally works out in your favor. This was a well played game and a great kickoff for the weekend. Thank you so much, um, Ralphie, for saying this in. We're going to jump over and see what your battle results are now. So, <laughs> um, unfortunately no medals because... Um, skirmish game, but still well played. Um, I'm just, wait, so you hit six of the enemy teams, uh, what, eight guys, seven guys? Yeah. Um, I don't know who is this. Was it the 64 we didn't shoot? It was, in fact, the type 64 that we did not shoot. Everyone else on the team got hit at least once by us. Um, <laughs> and actually, at least twice. <laughs> yeah. Well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in. This is a great game, Ralphie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a while since I've watched a skirmish game. It's been a while since I've been in a skirmish game. But yeah, again, still strong evidence for T-34A5 being the best skirmish tank right now in the game. Um, still a lot of evidence for the Cromwell. But if you need the armor or you want to punch your gun, T-34A5M is where it's at. Thank you so much. And uh, have a great day this IOE throughout.